Have you ever wondered why new growth sometimes is a reddish color, a coppery color, a bronze color? Have you ever had seedlings that came out and when they germinated, they were a reddish or copper color? It's nothing unusual about it. It is a natural growth habit. Let's talk about it. Hey, it's Elise. I'm glad you stopped by the gardens today. I saw a posting online the other day where someone was saying, hey, all my new growth is red. Should I cut it off? Is there something wrong? Do I need to spray it? No, don't. It's a natural process. This is the new growth on a red powder puff. Now, it's not as bright a red as some plants get, say, the mango, which will get a darker red. This particular plant throws more into the bronze and copper stage but really pretty new growth. So why do we have new growth that turns this color? When new growth comes out, the chloroplasts in the stems of the plant may not be mature enough to make chlorophyll, the green pigment that we're used to. So the plant sends in its backup team. Another type of flavonoid that produces pigment called anthocyanins. And the anthocyanins will produce reddish, bronzy, coppery, sometimes yellowish color new growth. And what they do is they protect the new growth, especially from the hot sun. That's why sometimes if you have seedlings that when they germinate, if they're in too much sun, they'll turn colors. I've got some sitting up there now, a little rack of seedlings that I moved out into the sun too soon. And the next thing I knew, they had turned colors. They'll turn back, it's not a problem. So there's nothing wrong here. You don't wanna cut it back, you don't want to spray it. And just a matter of time, it will start coloring again. You'll get the bright, pretty soft green and it will eventually turn dark. Now, it doesn't happen on all plants. It doesn't happen each time. But it can happen and it is a normal process. Some plants are brighter red, some plants are bronze. Some plants go through a yellow stage on their way back to their green. So let's go look at some more plants that are exhibiting anthocyanins. This is some new growth on the rosy tababuya tree. It's already gone through the bright red stage. Now it's fading out into that coppery color. It will go a little yellow and then eventually turn green the rosy tababuya tree. Here's some new growth on a maple tree. Isn't that pretty? And we think of maple trees usually turning color in the fall when they're dropping their leaves, but new growth will also exhibit this beautiful red coloration of anthocyanins. Nice. And here's a tray of young seedlings that also went through the red pigment stage of anthocyanus. Now it's turning green and we'll get the beautiful bright green leaves. This is a true roselle. And now here's a Suriname cherry that's also exhibiting that really pretty red pigment. This was cut back. It's now flushing out with new growth and it has all these new red tips on it to protect it. Eventually it will all fade back. The chlorophyll will step in and take over. Suriname cherry. Just look at the top of that mango. At all that beautiful color. The sun's hitting it. It's almost glimmering. Really pretty. It was red. It's now in going through a bronzy color. And again, that will change also. Each particular plant can go through just a little bit different cycle. But isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. They are pretty. Well, it's another day and we're back where we started on our anthocyanins journey. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the various plants that exhibit that wonderful pigment. Remember, it's natural. It's something that the plant puts out to protect the new growth. And look at what I found. Isn't that pretty? Now, we had a storm and the wind blew this down. I don't 
know for sure what the tree is that it came from. I think it's a laurel, but I could be wrong. But it is a beautiful example of that coloration because we don't have anything around us that is, has a tree that this color, that it stays that color all year long. So neat. So just remember, when your new growth exhibits a red, a bronze, a golden color, that it is probably just the plant's way of protecting the new growth, especially from hot sun. Till we speak again, have a fantastic day.